It's a significant show of solidarity in the patriarchal country that's been rocked by a series of anti-government protests. Men are taking to Iran's streets in solidarity with the women who are demonstrating after 22-year-old Mossa Amini was killed in the custody of the country's morality police on September 16th. Her cousin says her death has opened the doors to widespread unrest. What is happening in Kurdistan and everywhere else in Iran is universal anger against the Islamic Republic's regime, against the dictatorship. Amini's death sparked the most significant outpouring of anger with Iran's ruling system in more than a decade. Iranian women chanting death to the dictator, and calling for the end of the Iranian Republic's conservative rule. Still, some men refuse to envisage their country as one where women are not second to men. I'm a man who was born and raised in a third world country. My demands might not be the same as women's demands. I'm not that open-minded. But women, as individuals, have their own rights. They have their demands and are asking for them. As a human being, as long as they don't break the norms of traditional society, their wishes should be fulfilled. Pro-government rallies have taken place in several cities across Iran, some demonstrators calling for a decisive response to the protesters by the country's ruling system. Iran's president warned he will not accept chaos in the country.